Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless Student. In today's video, we'll be looking at the differences between Good Notes 5 and Not Shelf 2. I suggest you watch the reviews I have done on these different applications before watching this comparison. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. Both applications are a one-time purchase, which means you pay for them once and you have them for a lifetime. GoodNotes 5 costs $8 in App Store and NotShelf 2 costs $10. GoodNotes has a Mac OS version that became available starting this week. It also costs $8. It's a one-time payment. NotShelf 2 is working on a Mac OS version. Not sure when exactly that will be available. GoodNotes 5 is available on more platforms more than NotShelf 2, so for that I will give GoodNotes 5 a point. Starting from the home page, GoodNotes 5 offers two possible arrangements for your documents. You can view them as lists or as thumbnails. NotShelf 2 only displays your documents as thumbnails on a bookshelf. I really like the bookshelf look. I've always liked it. It looks familiar. GoodNotes 5 allows you to bookmark your favorite documents for easier access. You can then opt to see just your favorite documents, which you can further filter out to see only documents, pages only, or folders, which is very handy for quickly finding documents that you frequently use. And so for that, I will give GoodNotes 5 another point. NotShelf 2 offers way more templates than GoodNotes 5, while GoodNotes 5 focuses on different paper sizes ranging from as large as A3 paper to as small as A7 paper. A7 paper would be the size of an iPhone 5S, give or take. But I like NotShelf because it gives you different templates for almost every aspect of your life, making sure that you will not need to purchase any digital stationery planners or templates. They offer you a lot to choose from templates for planning events, for finance, for health and fitness, household, etc. For handwriting recognition, GoodNotes offers 17 languages and NotShelf 2 supports 65 languages. The only applications that offer more languages than NotShelf are Nebo and Notes Plus. The OCR in NotShelf is my personal favorite in any handwriting note-taking application. This is the only application that lets you convert your handwriting to the same text as the ink you use to handwrite your note. This feature has a special place in my heart because most applications just convert everything to black and then if you want it in another color you have to change it. In GoodNotes 5 when you've converted your text you have to copy and paste it into your notes. There are tons of other things that you can do with the text that you've converted in the application, all of which are not very useful in my opinion. Why would you convert your handwriting to text so you save it to files? That makes no sense to me. It would be nice to have one button to replace my handwritten notes in the application that I've just converted than for me to paste it and then go and still have to delete or cut the handwritten section. So this point goes to not shelf which allows you to convert your handwriting and you can paste it to replace your handwriting in the application. It's so much easier and so much more useful. For organization, GoodNotes 5 has a better approach, allowing you to create folders within folders. NotShelf 2 doesn't support folders within folders. Once you've created your folders in NotShelf 2, you can't add another folder into it. You can add a lot of files, a lot of different files into it, but no folders. Both applications allow you to add quite a number of similar documents, but GoodNotes also allows you to add photos and images right from the homepage. Still on the homepage, GoodNotes 5 supports the two-finger gesture for quick selection of multiple documents. It's a handy gesture to have if you have a lot of notes in an application and you want to quickly be able to select as many notes as possible. NotShelf 2 offers you themes to customize how your application looks. These themes are even available in dark mode. How decent is that? GoodNotes has no themes. So a point goes to NotShelf 2. Both applications let you sync across your devices through iCloud. Another painful thing about GoodNotes 5 is that you don't have auto backup. 
ouch not shelf 2 has auto backup but it's only to onedrive or dropbox but still not shelf 2 offers much more than goodness does and so for that they deserve a point not shelf 2 publishes to evernote this is a feature that is very unique to this application a feature that you don't find in a lot of handwriting note taking applications in case you missed the first announcement i am currently running a giveaway on youtube and instagram celebrating the growth of our community to stand a chance to win a redeem code for either good notes 5 not shelf 2 or notability you must be subscribed to this channel or be following me on instagram comment on this video or on a post on instagram telling me what application you'd like to win if you enter the giveaway on instagram don't forget to tag as many friends as possible and next week i will be announcing 15 lucky winners on the channel in next week's video inking tools both these applications offer very different tools making it very difficult to compare them because they write differently and they are just very different not shelf 2 has a pencil tool as well which i absolutely love i also prefer their approach on saving favorite pens than what goodnotes does i prefer saving actual pens versus pen settings which is what you get in goodnotes 5 i also find it easier to work with fixed pen sizes versus the sizes in millimeters as offered by goodnotes 5 i prefer the way not shelf approaches this and for that i will give them a point the handwriting experience feels the best in not shelf 2 not shelf 2 is the best handwriting experience you will get on an ipad they call it fluid handwriting and i must say it is very fluid obviously the application gets a point for that because hands down not shelf 2 have got this fluid handwriting stuff figured out. However, I must highlight that GoodNotes 5 has improved their handwriting experience in iPadOS. The improvement is so remarkable, I could say that this is the closest it has to replicating what we get in Notability, especially for their fountain pen, and I love it. I am still to decide which one is better because now GoodNotes 5 versus Notability, GoodNotes 5 is really doing a great job with their inking now, and that's very impressive. So for that, I will give them, I don't know, I'll give them some love <laughs> even though not shelf 2 has the most fluid handwriting experience they also have the most inaccurate representation of my handwriting i guess if writing feels so good and smooth there should be something wrong with it this is not all bad though if your handwriting sucks and you want an application that will make your handwriting look better this is definitely the application you want to get so i have mixed feelings about this it feels great writing in it but my handwriting doesn't look what it's supposed to then again it feels good and it works for people with ugly handwriting because it improves how your handwriting looks i can't decide how i feel about this let me know what you guys think about this is that a good thing is that a bad thing is that something you find useful Good Notes 5 has a decent accuracy, which I think is really good. And I feel most of us prefer being able to recognize our handwriting, even though we're using digital notes. So yeah, I mean, there is something about recognizing your, your handwriting in your notes, which I can't quite put my finger on. The more accurate an app can capture my handwriting, the better. So I think for this point, I will give it to Good Notes 5. Not Shelf 2 has a better text tool that allows you to add to-do lists bullet points and numbered lists the application allows you to save some favorite styles as well just tap on a saved template to change the format it's really that simple not shelf 2's approach to text is far more superior than the one in goodnotes 5 and i have to say goodnotes 5 text tool is one of the most unpleasant to use it's, it's their weakest feature really terrible for the highlighter, Note Shelf 2 offers two different types of highlighters, but hey, it is no big deal. Good Notes 5 highlights behind your text, while Note Shelf 2 highlights on top of it, and you can dim your notes if you highlight multiple times. Good Notes lets you choose what you select using your lasso tool. You can choose to select everything, which is the option offered in Note Shelf 2, or you can select just your handwriting, or just an image, or just a text box. I find this customization of your lasso tool is worth a point definitely goodnotes 5 has a laser pointer tool to use for presentations i did a video explaining this feature completely so if you want to understand what this is all about and if you want to understand what this does i will link the video in the description down below no other note-taking application offers this feature and this definitely earns goodnotes 5 another point 
Not Shelf 2 allows you to add clip art from Pixabay. These are royalty free photos that you can access without leaving the application and I think this integration is greatly appreciated. You can also add audio to your notes in Notshelf 2. The audio recording tool in Notshelf 2 is not as amazing as the one in Notability, but it is something. It's just great to have audio recording within your application when you want to take notes. Notshelf 2 has a dedicated emoji button and I love the ability to go into emoji overload mode. Love it. Of course, you can add emojis as a text in other applications. It's not the same as having a dedicated emoji tool so that you can just add your emojis anywhere on the page as many times as you want love it the application also allows you to tag your pages which is something you don't get in a lot of note taking applications goodnotes 5 allows you to create outlines of your notes a contents page of sorts very useful for those with notebooks that have hundreds of pages. It is a more sophisticated way of bookmarking your pages. A point for GoodNotes 5. GoodNotes 5 offers both vertical and horizontal scrolling. Because I always want to see what I wrote on my previous page when I'm writing my notes. So vertical scrolling all the way. GoodNotes 5 can open multiple tabs, even though both applications now support multiple instances, which means you can open the application twice or a million times with other applications, you still get to open more notes in your GoodNotes than you do in Notshelf because they support tabs as well. So Notshelf, no matter how many instances you open, you will only have one document open in the one app that you have open at a time. And this brings me to the end of this video. I hope I didn't forget anything. Did I forget anything important that's worth mentioning? Let me know in the comment section down below. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, I prefer not to know. Don't forget to enter for an opportunity to win a promo code for not shelf to good notes or notability. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.